Hi friends, it is Ash Wednesday, the first day of the season of Lent, these 40 days leading up to Easter. A season in which we go quiet again, very much like Advent, as we wait and are becoming prepared for Good Friday and Easter and all that that Holy Week holds for us as followers of Jesus. You know, this Lent is different than other seasons. Often Lent comes and we say, this is a good season for pausing and being quiet and still, stopping some of our busyness, fasting from some of the things with which we have entertained ourselves most of the year. This year, because we have been in almost a year of pandemic shutdown, it's, our lives are a little bit different than that. The contrast from um, activity into quiet is not perhaps so strong. And so this year we're doing some different things with Lent. We are taking this opportunity to be reflective and uh, to think about readying ourselves for whatever the next thing is and however long it takes for our opening up to normal life again comes. But it's a little bit different. As you know, we're doing a photo challenge. Every day there's a word that um, we invite you to photograph, to, to put into images in some way, and to think about. And today on this first Sunday of, I mean, first Wednesday of Advent, the word is rough. Rough. Uh, meaning the opposite of smooth, really, because this is a rough season and a season to be conscious of the ways that things in our lives maybe do not fit together smoothly. You know, smoothness sounds good to us, but it also can sort of paper over the places in our lives that, um, that are disheveled a little bit, not in full, um, full place and things that need attention. When things need attention, they feel rough. And so this is a season for being conscious of that in ourselves. Our own flaws and brokenness, our sin, and our need. You know, hunger, for example, if we were fasting through Lent, it would raise the roughness of hunger in us. Our consciousness of our needs is also rough in some way. So let's not rush to um, make that smooth quickly. Let's live in that roughness, conscious of the ways that we are watching and waiting for God to work in us. This prayer for today, I plant my feet into the soil of the living God I turn my ear toward the voice of the calling Christ. I lean my life into the wind of holy change. O oh God, be fierce, be gentle, toss me, turn me, shape me, dishevel me, and I will wait. Amen.